I told my kids about my wife's infidelity. Backstory, me, 27M, and my wife, 27F, have known each other since high school. We were always friends, but didn't show any interest in each other until senior year, where she asked me to prom, I accepted her invitation and we've been together ever since, we got married in 2015 at age 19, and have two daughters, who are 7 and 5. About a month ago, I found some texts on my wife's phone while she was in the shower, where she had been flirting with one of her female co-workers that I knew pretty well, we had met at work functions from time to time. They send each other explicit pictures and messages, and while I found no evidence of a meetup between them, it was heavily implied that they had done stuff together in the past. The messages started about a year ago, so she's been cheating on me for over a year now. I sent screenshots of the conversation to my phone, and confronted her when she got out of the shower and she broke down sobbing, apologizing, saying she never meant to hurt me. I was seeing red at this point and decided to leave before I did something drastic. She texted me non-stop begging me to come home and talk, but I wasn't having any of it, so I stayed at my younger brother's, 24M, place for the night. In the morning I woke up to hundreds of texts and voicemails from my wife, begging to come home. Eventually I did come home, but only because she had to work, and there was no one else to watch my daughters. I told her to be gone by the time I got there, as I didn't want to speak to her, and when I got home, I sat my daughters down and told them that I was going to be divorcing their mother. They didn't understand what that was, so I had to explain it to them, and my heart shattered while I was telling them. My 5-year-old started crying, and my 7-year-old started begging me not to, and started asking me why I was doing this. So I showed them the pictures I took, excluding the ones with pictures, and they started crying even harder. I assured them that their mommy still loves them, but she hurt me very badly, and I can't be with her anymore. I also told them that I would still see them, and I would do everything I could to make sure of that. I texted my wife, telling her I wanted a divorce, and she needs to pack her things when she gets home. She fought it at first and begged me not to kick her out, but I wasn't in the mood for her bullshit. When she got home, my kids started crying and asking her why she did what she did, and she started screaming at me, telling me that I had no right to tell our kids, and that this matter was between us. I told her that since we're getting a divorce, they deserve to know why, she left in a hurry and took the kids with her, as far as I know, she's, at her parents' house. My lawyer is in the process of getting the divorce paperwork in order, and I'm ready to fight for the right to see my kids, but they hate my wife right now, and refuse to speak to her, only to their grandparents, who have also stopped acknowledging ING my wife after they learned what she did. I feel I didn't overreact it, but my mind has been racking, ever since. If anyone has any advice on what to do, please let me know. Update. Hello all, it's been about a year since I informed you of what's going on in my family, thank you all for the support, and to those who are against me, congratulations, you attacked someone on Reddit, happy? You literally did nothing to my spirit or opinions on this matter, so now you just look stupid. First of all, I'd like to clear some things up before I begin. 1. I did not show the explicit pictures of my wife or her lover to my children, which I said in my first post, but people seemed to ignore it. I only showed them the screenshots of her flirting with her co-worker, and the messages were not sexual, it was only her saying things like, I love you, and, my husband is so stupid for not noticing. 2. The reason I rushed to tell my children so quickly is because I know my wife, and she would 110% try to shift the story so that they think I cheated on her, hence why I also took screenshots. I was worried she had already gotten to my daughters before she left for work, but fortunately she must have forgot in her haste and panic. She also tried to convince our friends and family that I was the one who cheated, but the screenshots saved me from that. Now the only people that are on her side are her two best friends and the co-worker she cheated with. 3. While I didn't say this before, I've tried very hard not to make my daughters hate my wife, while I personally hate her and am completely over her. I still want my daughters to have their mother in their lives, and they have warmed up to her again quite a bit. 4. The reason I let my wife take my daughters is because I needed some time alone, and while I hate her with a passion now, I know the kids are safe with her, as she loves them more than life. Now, on to the update. My lawyer served her the papers, and she immediately broke down crying and called me over 100 times, asking if I was serious and that she's so sorry, and not to do this to her, not to do this to our family. Apparently she thought she still had a chance to get back together with me, are you kidding me? So I told her that it's completely over, and what she did was unforgivable, and I hung up on her. She then tried to call me almost every hour on the dot, and I've ignored every single one. I have gone over to see my daughters whenever I could, but refused to go to her parents' house when she was there. Luckily, her parents are on my side, and the only reason she hasn't been thrown out is because she's their daughter, and they still love her. I've signed my daughters up for joint therapy so they can talk to somebody about this if they need to. Thank you to all who suggested it. Everyone in my family and hers is shocked at how fast I got over her, but it's natural for me. It's just the way I think, I hate her, but I figure, if she didn't love me, I shouldn't love her. I may have gotten over her, but I'm still upset about my situation. My life is falling apart, but I have people on my side, and it softens the fall. My brother has invited me to go drinking with him and his friends, and I've had a great night every time. I even got drunk and slept with one of his friends, Kayla. Afterward, she asked me on a date, but I told her I'm not quite ready for that yet. She understood and we had breakfast together. I honestly really like her, and I feel that in the long run, she would be a good partner and a good stepmother to my daughters. But I'm not sure anyone is ready for that yet, so I'm holding off, but at some point, I'd like them to meet Kayla. My in-laws keep trying to tell me about how my wife is doing, and I keep telling them I don't want to hear about her. They do get disappointed, because they've always really liked me, and probably don't want our marriage to end. My brother has also come by to see me more often, sometimes Kayla and his friends come with him, I won't lie, I enjoy the company. As for my job, I'm the owner of my own local cleaning company. While I have a lot of paperwork to do, I can do it all from home, 
so none of this interferes with my work schedule. I've spoiled my daughter's rotten since then, every time I came over, I brought them some candy or a new toy. Not to try and keep them on my side, but because it's a rough time for them, and they deserve it. As a whole, I thought my marriage ending would be the worst experience of my life, but the truth is, I've never felt better. I met a great woman, I still get to see my kids and have them in my life, and my ex is still in shambles because of this. I hate to admit it, but I would love to see how she's dealing with this. I'll update you all again when there's more to talk about. Sorry about that. This is just more of a rant about how much better my life is now instead of an update on my family. But for now, me and my daughters are happy, and until the next time I update you, I hope it stays this way.